No evidence that Roddy was playing word games with law enforcement officers. He simply can't find the right words. The evidence in this case shows that context is key. If you honestly seek the truth here, which is your duty as jurors, if you listen carefully, you will see that what Roddy Bryan means, as opposed to simply hearing his actual words, it is clear that he never wished to hit Ahmaud Arbery. Why the prosecution felt it necessary to phrase the things the way they did in their opening statement, Ms. Donikoski will have to answer to you for. I was unable to play it earlier, but we are now going to try and play the excerpt from the interview with Mr. Lowry, specifically that most damaging part of his statement, where he supposedly wishes that he had hit Ahmaud Arbery. Um, and you said that you had you had handprints on your truck from where the guy was trying to get into it. Yeah, I feel pretty sure that's what he was doing. I mean, I can't say for sure that he was up there. He wasn't on the door. I didn't give him a chance to get to the door. But after I angled him off the side of the road, you know, um, and I kind of went on past him because I didn't hit him, um, which I would have, you know, might have took him out and damn shot. But, you know, I probably got past him a little bit, and he'd come up on me, and I could see him in my mirror, and he was coming over the door. And I seen his hands on right behind the door. Ladies and gentlemen, in the video, as opposed to the officer's testimony, you can see Mr. Bryan's demeanor. You can see his gestures and his mannerisms. And you can see that when he says that he wished he hit Mr. Arbery, he said that just after he says that he didn't hit him. And he's expressing regret because Mr. Arbery has died and maybe if he hadn't gotten down where he was, he wouldn't have been shot. That is much, much different in context than to suggest that Roddy Bryan wished that he had hit Mr. Arbery. That's a reflection of regret that Mr. Arbery was hurt by the McMichaels. That's certainly not a suggestion that he bore any ill will. And how many other instances of that do we have in this case how many other times has the district attorney's office fired cheap shots at Roddy Bryan? How many times have the GBI taken cheap shots at Mr. Bryan? And in the end, you may wish to ask yourself why. Now, in the defense case, and we, we're not, we didn't do it, we promised we wouldn't, but it's clear that Mr. Bryan did not wish to strike Mr. Arbery, that he never had any intention of hurting Mr. Arbery. He never said anything to the contrary. The evidence will show that he had no knowledge, no reason to believe that anyone else out there meant to hurt or shoot Mr. Arbery. If they had a secret intention or desire to do that, it could not be known to him. Now, there is another excerpt that I want to play from the Minshew video. Only one, okay? Because again, I think it shows you Mr. Bryan's demeanor. It has been suggested by the state that much of what Mr. Bryan says later is somehow an after the fact rationalization of what happened that day. But when you listen to this, I think you'll see that Mr. Bryan's, the truth of what Mr. Bryan is trying to convey hasn't really changed.
obviously there's a reason we all don't play more of these. Go ahead, Jim. What, what, you know, what did it look like he was trying to do? He was trying to get, he was trying to get on this side of the car, right? What did it look like he was trying to do? What? Yeah, I mean, I cut him off pretty good now, okay. you know, but it, I mean, did he, put, he actually he pulled on your trying, handle? I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was hitting marks right there. Okay. He was trying to get to the handle. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, did, uh, nobody got us on video? You just witnessed it, yeah, correct? I got it. You I got it on video? I ain't looked at it. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you want to well, at what point did you start videoing? Well, I thought he was going to get away. Okay. So that was the You, you was getting, trying to get a, uh, capture who he looked like? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I probably got two videos, three videos. I mean, I probably okay. started over here. I don't know what I got because okay. half the time I was trying to drive. It was suggested that Roddy Bryan made up the idea that he was trying to preserve Mr. Arbery's identity, that he was trying to preserve it because he thought he was going to get away. It's been suggested that that's not what was going on. But yet, here on the side of the road with Officer Minshew, Roddy Bryan says within minutes of the shooting that that's exactly what he was trying to do. We have one video in this case. Well, we have two, a shorter version of the one you've seen. But when Mr. Bryan is talking with Officer Minshew, he hasn't had a chance to look at his phone. He hasn't had a chance to see what he has. He thinks he has two or three videos. He thinks he's caught much more than he had. Now, either you believe that Roddy Bryan is the smartest person in this room, that he's playing games and manipulating the police from the moment this has happened, or you know that Roddy Bryan had good faith from the start, that he tried as best he could to help the police. Maybe it would have been better if he had been able to record more, if he knew better how to operate his phone. But the idea that somehow Mr. Bryan is quote-unquote minimizing his involvement in this case, had he recovered as much video as he thought he had, he might have had the whole thing on video. And he's giving it to the police. He's inviting Officer Minshew to sit with him in the car, to look at it with him for the first time. Not with some slick Cobb County lawyer. By himself. That tells you that Roddy Bryan is not guilty. Because unless you think he's smarter than everybody else in this room, that he's smarter than all these police officers, that he's smarter than the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme of the GBI, then you know he's trying to tell you the truth. He just can't always find the words.